Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. The 2024 Tacoma is out, released, announced by Toyota. Let's go ahead, pull up the site. We're going to check out the different trim levels, some of the details, and hopefully what they cost. Okay, we have relocated to Rob Motive Central. It's just a little corner by a window. Anyway, let's get right to it. First of all, before we get into the different models and things, just a couple of things to note, particularly on the powertrain. There is an iForce Max Hybrid. They say it has 326 net combined horsepower. Now, it's combined because it's electrified and it's gasified. Anyway, 326 net combined horsepower with 465 pound-feet of torque at 1,700 RPM. That's the key. It's going to have low-end torque. I love that. I had an SI several years ago. It had some por torque and some power, or maybe pork, but you really had to get on it as far as the RPMs go before you felt anything. It's mated with an 8-speed manual transmission. That's good. Hopefully, all this gear hunting and everything that everybody complains about will be gone. So let's get into the meat of it, the models. First of all, and you've probably seen the TRD Pro. That's the first one that they put out. By the way, there'll be pictures right over here or over here as we go. But the TRD Pro, it has the 326 net combined horsepower along with the 465 pound-feet of torque. So that means it comes with the iForce Max 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid powertrain. Couple other things to note about it. They say that it has TRD tuned 2.5 inch Fox internal bypass shocks with rear piggyback style remote reservoirs and ISO dynamic performance seats. Those are those seats with the kind of shock absorber looking like things on them uh, with a dampening system. That's something that I haven't seen before, particularly in any Toyota product. Uh, should be interesting to see what that feels like. High clearance front bumper and ARB steel rear bumper with recovery hooks. That's the brief summary of the TRD Pro. Next is the Trail Hunter. Has the same specs as the TRD Pro. They say it has an iForce Max 2.4 liter turbo hybrid powertrain with a high mount air intake. In other words, a snorkel. Uh, Old Man Emu 2.5 inch forged mountable or monotube rather position sensitive shocks with rear piggyback style remote reservoirs. Kind of the same, different brand, same setup. High clearance front bumper, rock rails and ARB steel rear, bu rear bumper with recovery hooks. Same kind of thing there. Available in a five or six foot bed with the ARB sport bar. So you can still get, in essence, a long bed so far, but you got to go to the trail hunter. Let's see if that changes. Next up, and you notice these are going from the most expensive down to the least. We don't have pricing yet. Uh, that'll come, I guess. Next is the limited, uh, same engine specs. Uh, so we're not losing anything by dropping down to the limited, it looks like. It says available iForce Max 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid powertrain. That means it's not standard. You're going to pay more money for it when they finally do announce the pricing. Adaptive variable suspension, 18-inch uh, chrome finished alloy wheels, chrome, chrome, uh, let's see, and exterior accents. So it's going to have a bit of chrome on it. Ugh. Power up, down tailgate, power up and down tailgate. Awesome. And power running boards. A couple of new things for Toyota. We're going to have running boards that go out, I guess, when you open the doors, probably, or maybe a push of the button as well. And then a tailgate that goes up, powered. That's pretty cool. Moving on, we do have a TRD Off-Road and a TRD Sport. The Off-Road, same engine specs, 326 and 465, available iForce Max 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid powertrain. To me, that means there's just going to be a straight Turbo 4 without the hybrid system, of course. Uh, Bill Steen monotube, monotube shocks with remote reservoirs. So we've dropped down a little bit, I guess, when it comes to shocks. Available six-speed manual transmission. 
I cannot believe Toyota is putting out a manual transmission still. I would have sworn. I have said that they wouldn't do it. They proved me wrong. They're doing it. I just wonder if it's updated. You know, certainly they're not throwing in the same old nasty manual transmission that I had before in my 2020. I'd be very interested to drive one. Uh, let's see. Crawl control and multi-terrain or multi-terrain uh, select, same thing as I have right now in my 2023. Moving over to the sport, we do maintain the scoop. Is it functional? I don't know. It doesn't really say that I can see briefly. Let's run through it. Same engine specs available with the iForce Max. TRD tuned suspension. So we have a little bit different. Eh, not a big deal. Available six-speed manual transmission in the Sport as well. Still can't believe that they're actually putting out a manual. And a TRD mesh grill with hood scoop. Uh, an 18-inch TRD alloy wheels. Looks like a lot of chrome in there as well. Eh. You know, I'm not a chrome guy, right? Next, we have a TRD Pro Runner. This is the one that I find kind of interesting. Although we drop, and this is where you get into the available versus not available engines. This is 278 horsepower uh, with 317 uh, pound-feet of torque. It does not say anything. Yes, it does. It says iForce 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. So on the pre-runner, um, it appears that there is no hybrid available, at least not the first year. Uh, let's see, extra cab utility focused rear storage with six foot bed has a longer bed in it. That's interesting. It looks to be uh, an access cab. It is. It is an access cab. 17 inch TRD alloy wheels, electronically controlled locking rear diff. There's your electronically controlled rear diff if you're looking for it. Locking, that is. Next up, we are maintaining an SR5. Same engine as the TRD Pro Runner. 278, 317, that is the 2.4 liter turbocharged, not the hybrid, coil, uh, spring, rear suspension, double cab only. That would lead me to believe that the SR5 is also going to be available in an access cab. I'm sure it's not a single cab. Wouldn't that be awesome? 17 inch alloy wheels available, let's see, available in double cab with five or six foot bed and extra cab with six foot bed. So there's the answer. They're now calling the excess cab the extra cab. Lastly, the SR, and they really drop a bit here, 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. This is still the iForce uh, 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. So they kind of dumb it down a little bit, it looks like, on the SR. Why? It looks to be the same engine, just a different tune. Uh, let's see. Available six-speed manual. So you can get the manual in the off-road, the sport, and it appears the SR, but not the SR5. Available in double cab with five foot bed and extra cab, or what we used to call the access cab, in a six foot bed. That's it. That's what we know so far as, as specs go. Um, we'll see. We'll have to take a look at the interiors next. I think we're starting to get a bit long on this video, so we're gonna cut it off. But there's a, a brief, quick summary of the different trim levels or models that are available on the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. What do you think? Any of that interest you? What about that TRD Pro or Trail Hunter? I don't know. I kind of like the engine specs. I'm not sure about the four-cylinder turbo, though. Leave a comment. Let me know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why wouldn't you subscribe? And don't forget, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.